Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hi guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, another one from Bison Brewery. This is their Organic Chocolate Stout. And it is a stout brewed with cocoa written here on the label. And the information I have is Dutch cocoa. So, uh, sounds pretty tasty. What do you think about that? Uh, Bison Brewery out of Berkeley, California. It is an American stout coming in at 5%. Year-round serving from these guys on this beer. Food pairings, cuisines, barbecue, cheese and buttery brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss, uh, earthy, cucumber bird, fontina, and the meat for this is beef, shellfish, grilled meat, and game. Glassware is a pint, the Becker, a Stein, a mug, a tumbler, um, just about anything you want to pour in. I usually use the, uh, the uh, Dubell glass for this, but I'm going to use a pint glass tonight, and it's not recommended for extended cellaring, so let's not extend it any further. And it's a chocolate stout. Let's pour it down the center. What do you think, guys? There we go. Right down the center. We got about a half finger of head there. Uh, it is... It is dark, but it is not pitch black. I am giving some ruby tinges around the outside, so it is not a typical black stout. This may be more of a line of a porter than a stout as far as the appearance to me. Uh, it's fairly dark, but like I said, I can see some light around it, so it's not motor oil dark. And the head is uh, basically dissipating. I got just a slight layer there on the glass, but it is leaving a nice coating on the glass there. Let's get a nose on this one, guys. See what we got. Roasty malt. <laughs> Cocoa. And that's basically about all I am giving is roasty malt and cocoa there. Maybe just a little nuttiness or caramel or something there, but most of the malt and a little bit of the cocoa. So, cheers guys. Got a metallic taste right off the bat, but it went away there. I get the cocoa on the back. Kind of watery metallic taste there before I get the before I get the cocoa. The last one I got from them wasn't too impressive. I was hoping this one was gonna be a little bit better. I'm not sure. I'm on the fence here. Let's run out of the fridge. A lot of times these beers will have a metallic taste when they're they run right out. As they set warm up or, at, or or just get acclimated to the the air, the metallic taste a lot of times will go away. Not always, but a lot of times it will. I'm getting the cocoa that they've added, the Dutch cocoa. It's more prevalent on the on the aftertaste than it is while I'm drinking it. I'm getting more roasty malt and coffee up front. Then I get the chocolate on the back end. So, well, like I said, it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. We're going to let it warm up. Uh, see what we end up with. Uh, 
right now I'm thinking it's a little bit better than the, than the IPA that I did from them, but uh, not by much. So see if it sways me over as it warms up, guys. I'll be right back. Stick around. All right, guys. Thank you for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. Uh, the metallic taste went away, just like it usually does after it warms up. Uh, got a nice roasty chocolate. Uh, a lot better than the IPA was from this, these guys. So, not a bad beer. I believe it's just a tad above average. So, with that being said, final chug. Maybe the bitterness giving me that twang of metallic taste there. I'm not really sure. But it's okay. I mean, uh, it's, it's okay. I mean, I've had better, but it's uh, it's better than the IPA was from these guys. So. This one doesn't have a date on it either, unless it's kind of something digitized on the bottle somewhere. It's not on the label. So, uh, the stout's not as critical, but still, this is a 5%. It ain't like it's a 7 8 or 10%. It's going to keep for years and years and years. So. Still, like you know what year it is. So, uh, that's the only thing I can really hack on them. So, uh, I'm going to give them, I'm going to give it to 5. It's, it's a B-. minus. So. If it had a date on the bottle or somewhere, I might have kicked it up uh, to a B or something. So, guys, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Uh, Rate Beer has it at 92 overall, which is a, a decent score, but it's 88 in the style. And Beer Abbott comes up with a B. I'm going to give it a B minus. So, let me know, guys. If you've had this, if you've seen it, pick it up, give it a shot. Let me know what you think of it. So, uh, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and so look at a pretty tomorrow. See what we can see in there then. Hope you can join us. See you then.